open this. I'm trying to open this so you guys can see it too. Ooh, nice red bottom. Red bottoms. Mm-hmm. And oh, oh. Oh. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are going to do an unboxing of a game that I've been waiting for for a while, ever since it came out in Japan in 2019. Ease 9 Monstrum Nox Limited Edition. Yes, I did a video review on the game. I was fortunate enough to get a copy earlier than the release, but I did pre-order this because, you know, I'm a fan. I'm actually a fan of this. <laughs> Ever since I played Ease 8, I've been a fan of this series. I don't normally get limited editions, collectibles of games because I'm like, I'm not that into the game. I like the game, but not that much. But in the Ease series, I am. I am. So when I heard that there was like a collectible, limited edition stuff, I was on it. But enough about that. Let's get with unboxing the Ease A Monstrum Nox Limited Edition for the PlayStation. As you can see here, that it is still in the wrapper. You can see over here that it has a little picture of Balduclea. It has a like rawr, marking. <laughs> Why did why did it go rawr? claw marks claw marks they're called claw marks like and you can see a picture of Balduglia in the background again. If you're not familiar with Ease 9 Monstrum Nox, I did do a video review on it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below that way you can check it out. And coincidentally, I am wearing the same outfit, pretty much. <laughs> So this is a box without the plastic wrapping. You got Addo in the middle and then you have his party members on the sides of him. They're all called Monstrums. And over here, I think this is actually a jail? Let's take it off. Let's take, let's take that off. What is that? Let me look at it. Oh, this is the shanty town. This is a picture of the shanty town. Okay, okay. And then over here we have Aprilis. This is the woman who shoots at Adol, making him into a monstrum, changing his looks. And then over here, I believe this is still the shanty town, right here, the shanty town. And then this is the high end district, you know, where the rich people are. So this part over here is that opaque fancy type of cover giving it a little glass like look <laughs> next let's open up the box so over here we got the logo is not monstrum nox ooh, ooh, ooh. it's a slippery shiny feel okay okay and let's open this I'm trying to open this so you guys can see it too ooh, nice red bottom red bottoms mm-hmm and oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look what's inside. Oh, we have the game right here. Ooh, packed edition. So I almost got the Japanese version. I almost did. I almost did because, you know, it got released in Japan first, right? And I was like so excited for this. I was like, I want it now. But I was like, no, no. All the ones I played were in English. I'll keep it at English. <laughs> Ew, I was weird like that. <laughs> Whoa, there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh. We got all the keychains too. Look at that. Look at that. So we have a Prelis Adol in disguise. And we have the white cat. Here's the white cat. Ooh, oh man. So I follow Nihon Falcom on Instagram and they're always showing cute stuff and I'm like, I want them. And now I do. Next. 
<laughs> we also have the wanted poster for Adol. So in the game, um, he escapes from prison. So he's a wanted fugitive. Oh, what does it say? It says, wanted Adol the Red Kristen. Description, red hair, smaller than average. <laughs> physique, smaller than average. Uh, crimes, escaping Balduk prison. Last scene, no recent sighting reported. Caution, suspect to be hiding in... I can't see, there's like a glare for my light. Caution, sus suspected to be hiding in Balduk with his burly blue-haired accomplice. Dogie. Culprit must be left alive for ongoing investigation by order of the Imperial Interrogator. Reward is eight thousand, eight million, eight million five hundred thirty-four thousand. Adol, you expensive. Oh, you pricey. You know what's interesting? So it's like eight million five hundred thousand. Are they doing that because it's like close to nine million, and this is? E's nine. Man, I'm just reading into it too much. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. There's more. Oh, wait, wait. Let's open this. There's more. What is this? Ah! So we got his monstrum version, the Crimson King. How much is the Crimson King? Oh, the Crimson King is only 3,600,000. It's like less than half than what Addo is priced. <laughs> what is this next? We have the hawk. Oh, the hawk is nine million. Ooh, why are you? What did you do, Jeez Louise? Description: Blonde hair, wears a blue cloak, carries two small swords. Crimes: disrupting civil order, attacking civilians, antagonizing hieroglyph knights. Caution, culprit is highly dangerous. Avoid confrontation at all costs. Report sightings immediately to the Hieroglyph Knights. And we got the doll. Wait, how much are you? Uh, you're only one million. We have White Cat, seven million. The Raging Bull, about two million. And we have the Renegade for, oh. You're only 975,000. Why? You're the lowest. <laughs> What's your crimes? Unknown investigation currently underway. Oh, no wonder. They don't know what your crimes are. <laughs> you're, you're just wanted because you're a monster. <laughs> That's all. You're just wanted by association. That's all. <laughs> Next, we have this thing over here. It feels like it's a CD. So let's pull this out. And it is. <laughs> it is a CD. It's a soundtrack. I love the soundtracks of the Ease games. But this one didn't... From what I heard in the game when I reviewed it, it didn't have anything popping like Sunshine Coastline from Ease 8. Like, Ease 8 had a lot of popping sounds. Music. Oh, it was so good. But anyways, anyways, they do have a distinct sound. It sounds more like a eerie mystical gothic sound and I'm not gonna lie when I looked up background music for my video I typed in French France and it sounded similar so I was like yes I kind of knew what the sound was <laughs> I've actually seen this picture before and now I know where it came from. So that this picture that I've seen online came from the soundtrack. So what we see over here is we see Adol and then we see his monstrum version. And Adol's in prison right now. And I believe the monstrum version is outside of the prison. I believe. I think I I think I have two more things in here in this box. Yeah, I do have two more things. What is this? <gasps> I have the Crimson King Chibi figure. Look at that. Look at that. Let's open it. Oh, Chibi. I love Chibi stuff. Chibi stuff's so cute. And I need a box cutter for this one. Okay. I kind of match it with my red roses. 
I'm not a very delicate person. I tend to like, I tend to break things. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ayy. Oh, really? It's a cheapy version. <laughs> it's so tiny. Look at this. It's so, it's smaller than my the palm of my hand. Jeez Louise. Like, you're just you're just barely bigger than my thumb. Look at that. I was gonna say it's like Thumbelina, but it's just a little bit bigger than my thumb. Just a little bit. <laughs> so I actually had two more things in here. So we had this red book and we had this black book. The red book says nails in the coffin. Art of Ease Monster Knox. Ooh, art! Ooh, fabulous! What kind of art? Look at that. Look at that! Ooh! Ooh, and we have this stuff over here. I saw this online. Someone, like, was uploading pictures of these pages. Oh, I didn't notice these pages! Oh, these look so good. Oh, look at that. Now I'm just skipping all the way through to see if they like show anything extra. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so I kept seeing this picture of Prillis online because I wanted to use her on my thumbnail. But they only showed like pictures of her with the hood and shadowing her face and was not flattering. <laughs> so like I give up, I give up. Like Addo, who has his Addo version and his Monstrum version, the other Monstrums have their civilian selves too, and they're including it in the book. Oh, okay, okay, so I'm not showing it to you because that's spoilers. Ooh, okay, they're including everyone. Oh goodness, this kind of has some spoilers in it. Like they mentioned this character and what they're doing. I'm like, oh, that was a little giveaway in the story <laughs> okay so this is the picture this one over here that's actually depicted on the side of the box i wonder why they picked this one this is shanty town shanty town so some of these pictures over here that i see i've seen them online and i'm guessing that people scan these and then they made PNG versions of each character because I don't know where else they could have gotten the pictures. What? Okay, so I'm reading the black book and it says Ease 9 prequel. The Lost Sword. The Lost Sword? What? what? What are you about? Table contents beyond the Sea of Atlas, Western Eurasian, Continent, Europe region. What? Oh, it's, it's Adam! Okay, okay, prologue. Okay, the lost sword. Oh, it's a little story! Has this ever happened before? This is about 78 pages. And it has about... <laughs> it has 8 chapters. 1 prologue and 1 epilogue. <laughs> I'm gonna have to read this. Okay. We have a little side story that happened apparently before Ease 9. Because <laughs> it's called a prequel. So Ease 9, according to the game, is happening after Ease 8. And this book, the black book called The Lost Sword, is a story that's in between Ease 8 and Ease 9. So that's a bonus. Oh, how fabulous so i'm wondering if they're gonna do that are they going to make like books anime movies are, are they giving a hint that they're branching off to other stuff in the games because you know they already have an anime i'm just saying i took off the plastic wrap so we could open this so, let's see what a packed edition looks like. Like, what makes it different? So, over here, we see that this part is different. I've seen people do, like, unboxing or, like, 
on locking, opening the case, whatever you call when you show a new game. Uh, I see them opening it up and the booklet over here, the picture is different. Uh, the picture I've seen was Shantytown. This one is of Adol. Special. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get my money's worth with the packed edition, right? Right? So let's let's see what else is in here. Uh, let's see. Monster Memoirs. What's in it? Oh, it's like the art book. So I got the hardcover one. This is the paperback one. Okay, okay, okay. Work, work, letting everyone have it. Oh, but it's a little different. So this ends with Aprilis. The hardcover one continues on with the civilian versions of the Monstrums, the other NPCs, and yeah, it had, it had more. This one just stops at Aprilis. Oh. Okay. And then we have over here NIS America Online Store with their merch, etc. etc. Oh, what? Oh, oh. They have a picture of the limited edition stuff over here. They have like a picture of it. And apparently the soundtrack has like a black and white picture of the Crimson Knight. Mm-hmm. So we got the soundtrack and we have this game. The reason why I'm bringing up the soundtrack is because of this. Over here, over here, it has a CD-like thing. Melodies of the Macabre. That's the soundtrack. That's music. So it has five songs in it. Five songs. Decision. Lacrima Crisis, Aprilis, Dreaming in the Grimald, and Feel Force. Does the soundtrack have the same songs? It doesn't. It does not. So the soundtrack has Invitation, Norse, French Word, Maxima, Dandelion, Marionette, Waltz, The Cave Grown, Desert After Tears, Alchemy Lab, Wild Card, Prison of Balduk, Strategic Zone, Knock on Knox in Dandelion's Journey. Oh, okay. All right. So we got like music music on this one. I'm going to have to listen to it. And if you want me to give you some feedback, how it sounds, because I'm pretty sure there's soundtracks online already, like YouTube, like people uploaded already. But if you want to hear my feedback, just let me know in the comments below or on Discord or visit my Twitch whatever you're comfortable with and then we got the game we got the game we got the physical copy of the game yes so the physical copy has aprilis on it aprilis in this pose over here and uh, the music one the the melodies the melodies one also has aprilis over here so we got the theme. The theme is Aprilis. Because I saw the picture of the soundtrack, I'm curious what it looks like inside. So we have Adol and the Crimson Knight. Let's open this up. What do we got? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold up. Hold up. The picture in the pamphlet looking thingy was different. Yeah, it's different. So I'm sure you guys can't really see this, but if you see that, it looks more black and white. Very black and white. And over here, it's not. It's not black and white. Adult is colored. <laughs> I'm like, why did you guys make it different? That's interesting. You guys had the budget for it. Work! The game must have done well in Japan. That you guys were able to like change it up for <laughs> the English version. Thank you. Thank you for making us feel a little bit more special. And that was my unboxing of Ease 9 Monstrum Nox's limited edition. What do you guys think about it? Do you think this was 
worth its price? Do you think it matched its value? I think it did. It had a lot of stuff in it. It had the game, of course. It had a art book. It had a little prequel story. It had the keychains. It had a miniature figure and the soundtrack. And it had oh, it even had like the wanted posters too. That was nice. I was like, ooh. It was giving me memories. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. If you want to talk about Ease 9 or this unboxing, we do have a Discord. The link is available in the description below. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Some people who watch my videos do stop by in the streams and just talk about the video they saw or anything else. You know, because our community is pretty diverse and welcoming, we just talk about anything. Pretty much, yeah. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where I talk about anime and manga. So if you're into that kind of stuff, there is a link in the description below. The podcast is available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lihua and this is a Superfina channel unboxing Ease 9 Monster Noxus Limited Edition. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.